Not long ago, there was an Israeli security space chief that did claim that aliens are walking among us, that Galactic Federation is real. Trump knows about it. He was supposed to tell the public, and as soon as he thought that he would tell the public, aliens told him to not do that, because we are not ready. He publicly said that, and then nothing. It is as though that story never existed. We never heard any update on the story till today. There's an update. Drop a thumbs up and let's roll. As we begin our trek through the year that is 2023, we are once again posed the ultimate question. Are we alone in the universe? For in my opinion, the odds are in the percentage is very slim that we are alone. But what you think? One, if you think we are really alone, two, if you think we're not. Some this question will never be answered. A dangling carrot that entices ufologists and budding conspiracy theorists to spend their time, money and resources in an attempt to discover the truth. For most, the possibility or contemplation of life on other planets is something that is becoming ever more popular and believable. This is most likely due to- The movies, the medias have desensitized us and desensitized us and yeah. Due to the efforts and evidence gathered from a multitude of technologies investigators and industries who are involved in space travel or interplanetary exploration. Then there are the smaller groups of individuals who state with certainty that aliens are indeed real and have been in contact with our civilization for decades. Step forward, Professor Haim Eshed. In this video, we will turn our investigation from the mere possibility of alien-based contact to the actuality that they are in fact among us and that only a select group of people are aware of this information. Mm. So who is Professor Haim Eshed? What information has he been exposed to? And more importantly, what hasn't he said during his years in the space program industry? Do you remember when the first story broke or you are finding this out for the first time? Uh, let me know because the thing is that he did claim and he is the former Israeli space security chief and has been for years and years. So he has the, the credibility, right? But the critics are saying he's old and he has lost his marbles and he, he has lost his way. I don't, I don't know about that. Are we finally getting closer to the truth? Join us as we attempt to find out in this episode of Destination Declassified. W channel, I love Destination Declassified, man. W channel, it's uh, top fives, but secondary channel for that content. This is a hot topic of discussion right now. Will we ever find out in our lifetimes? I really hope so. I really hope so. As ever, and with any investigations into extraterrestrial theories, conspiracies or otherwise, we must go back to the beginning and to the source from which it came. Luckily for us, in this instance, it centers on one man, Professor Haim Eshed. Eshed, born in 1933, is a retired Brigadier General from the Israeli military intelligence, who headed up numerous space programs and satellite launches for the Israel- So, I think he's close, or if not 90 years old. Israeli Ministry of Defense, in a career that no. spanned more than 30 years. He is the former chair of the Space Committee of the National Council for Research and Development for the Ministry of Science, Technology and Space, as well as an esteemed member of the Israel Space Agency. Eshed's credentials are quite impressive. In 1967, he was assigned the role as Chief of Staff Citation, which is considered to be the most decorated honor of a non-combatant officer at the IDF. Though specific details of his projects and contribution to his homeland have been classified, Eshed has been awarded the Israel Defense Prize on three separate occasions. Believe it or not, Israel has its own version of Area 51, for which mm. the professor carried out various experiments and high-tech ventures for the Israeli Defense Forces secretive... I, I genuinely feel like that a lot of... Uh countries have their own versions for sure uh, everybody everyone is sp uh, spying on everyone right every country does that it's kind of funny when u.s comes out and says that e -E, china is spying on us china is uh, obviously spying on everyone u.s is doing the same all the big countries in fact even the smaller countries are doing and in a way it's kind of good because if everybody spy on everybody then it's like hey not no one is gonna do anything bad or wrong they still would but you know what it's like checking the the brother okay so th that the brother that brother do not get out of hands if that if that makes sense but i do believe that every country 
um, has some secret data on aliens, uh, UFOs, and they might be having their secret uh, underground facilities like Area 51 as well. I do believe that. Military Intelligence Directorate. At Unit 81, which we can do a video about separately if you wish, Eshid and his team of technicians headed up a satellite project that was designed to gather intelligence from the Sinai Peninsula in 1979, whilst Egyptian and Israeli forces penned a peace treaty to withdraw their militarized personnel from the region. The disengagement took more than three years to finalize, mm. which would have given Eshed enough technological intelligence on their neighboring countries. In terms of conspiracy theories and the man himself, not too much is known about the professor besides his recent claims of extraterrestrial entities yeah. communicating with the global elite to conduct countless projects for the sake of universal stability, or indeed galactic collapse. Eshed is well educated as you can imagine, with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering as well as a master's degree and doctorate in aeronautical engineering. He now spends his golden years as a visiting professor of aeronautics and astronautics at space technology research institutions. So now we know a little about the man and his credentials, let us now look at why he has been thrust into the spotlight. A recent headline stated that former Israeli space security chief says aliens exist, humanity is not ready. Despite the obvious notion that humans would be either unable to comprehend this fact or learn to digest the significance of such news. For what you think on this one? Do you think humanity is not ready? Because the way I see it, yeah, it's not ready. The, the, the fact that they shot down UFOs, distraction or not, distraction or not, obviously if it feels like it's a distraction, it might be related to Project Blue Beam. I will link you that video on the channel as well, some truly, uh, at the end, uh, truly dark stuff as well. A lot of people believe that it's Project Blue Beam. A lot of people believe that it's uh, China, 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 China spy balloons. A lot of people believe that it's the real deal and they're hiding. The, the fact of the matter here is that they shot down something uh, and that's what they're claiming, so it might not be true. I mean, conspiracies are, conspiracies are wild right now. But if they really did shot down, where is the wreckage? They never showed us the wreckage. They basically claim that they never found the wreckage, which I think it's bull squash. I don't buy that. I don't believe that. But we've seen videos from individuals seeing lights in the skies and some were really freaked out. Some were really screaming in, in horror. And some were really screaming in, in, in excitement. A lot of people were excited. A lot of people were like just genuinely in awe and genuinely didn't know what was that, if that makes sense. So I do believe, I do believe when they say this, sadly, I wish it was the other way around. I wish uh, humanity was ready, but yeah, certainly it's not ready. For those of us in the UFO community, it is certainly a step forward in the search for extraterrestrial life. According to Eshed, a top secret division within world government, known as the Galactic Federation, have been in constant contact with alien forces, oh, damn. all the while keeping such communications from the public to prevent mass hysteria. The retired officer has kept his cards very close to his chest with regards to the specifics. However, his credentials speak for themselves, and therefore, Whatever he does reveal to the public must be heard. Yeah, I, I had to Google that. So it means exaggerated or uncontrollable emotion or excitement. Okay, yeah, so basically there will be mass panic, kind of, right? On the 20th of December 2020, Israeli-based newspaper Yedioth Aronov published an interview with the professor, which discusses his recent book, The Universe Beyond the Horizon, Conversations with Professor Haim Eshed. The publication itself, founded in 1939 in British Mandatory Palestine and published in Tel Aviv, is a daily newspaper considered to be the largest of its kind, based on sales and distribution, and therefore appeals to a mass audience. Not long after the interview was released, translated sections were uploaded to social media and yeah. other viral websites, describing the link in communication between Israel, the United States, and that of our alien friends. It, it went it went semi-viral i remember and uh, a lot of the people that are fascinated by this topic were talking but it still did not blow up i was expecting this topic to really blow up out there the the entire reason i was expecting that is because i mean the two biggest questions are 
are we alone and what happens after that so this is the the the, the first question or the second question in the order and uh, third uh second second of all the fact that he's a top former israeli space security chief with good track record good credentials and it was coming from him so i really thought that this is gonna be something that we're, we're gonna hear more of but we did not Reported revelations include previously disclosed meetings between us Earthlings and extraterrestrials, as well as discussions on a mysterious underground base which has purposefully been created on Mars. What? The now 90-year-old expert seemingly oh, dived into the intricacies and details of the Galactic Federation's intentions, settlements, and consultations that have been agreed between both civilizations, especially the United States as they seek to understand the, quote, fabric of the universe. Yeah, okay, so the, the, the thing that Mars secret underground bases, we hear that a lot, though, but yeah, like, didn't hear that they, they were going there underground bases to meet the aliens, you know? That's something that, mm, so yeah, that, that, another conspiracy, guys, another conspiracy. We'd love to hear it, we'd love to hear it, but the, the entire situation with this that makes it a little bit more believable is the, the fact that Trump really did start the US force, right? That he was like, we need to send Americans into space, we need to form that space unit, sub, uh, space army, space military. He really did do that around the time he broke this. Maybe it was before, maybe it was after, I, I don't remember when exactly, but Trump really did start that. So that was a little bit suspect for sure. These meetings are apparently ongoing and consistent, where US representatives travel to the supposed underground base on Mars, Bruh. disguising their travel with that of alternative planetary operations and explorations. What makes this bombshell more interesting is its correlation with the establishment of the United States Space Force, or USSF, a militarized unit of the US Armed Forces, formed and approved by former President Donald Trump. Mm. The service is surprisingly the only known space unit yep. of its kind in the world today. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. He did form that space unit and it is a little bit crazy, right? It's suspect. Uh, yeah, that out of nowhere. Yeah, guys, we are having a space uh, unit and uh, that Israeli space security chief also did say that Trump knows he was on the verge to tell publicly that aliens are real, but apparently the aliens stopped him from revealing oh, that. Shit! Yeah, that, that's the rumor. That's the conspiracy. You believe that? You're not believing that? I want to know your thoughts. Employing more than 8,000 personnel who report directly to the Department of Defense 8, 000, and to yeah. Chief of Space Operations. Many have translated the interview in full and have studied the comments made by Eshed. One of the paragraphs posted on the Facebook page of Yediet Aronoth contains the following declaration by the professor. The UFOs have asked not to publish that they are here. Mm. Humanity is not ready yet. Trump was on the verge of finding out, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation say, wait, let the winds calm down first. They do not want mass hysteria to develop in us. They want to make us sane first and understand. They have waited until today for humanity to evolve and reach a stage where we will generally understand what space and spaceships are. Yeah, I mean, there will there will always be mass hysteria. I don't think. I feel like this is in this day and age. Yeah, everybody understands the idea. Movies and, uh, for example, Avengers movies, Marvel movies have really just readied us for that idea, right? A lot of people believe that we're not alone, but there will always be hysteria. Always, no matter. It's gonna be like a shocking event, right? Like, oh, we are not alone, right? Like, they come out and we see the green, little green running around, green people running around. It will always be that there is just no way that we're gonna be like, yeah, okay, guys, welcome on in. We always knew you guys were real. Yeah, we always knew you were real, but holy shiza, dude, we are, are we really finding this out? Is that really happening? That would be the reaction of a lot of people, but surely there will be a, a lot that would be panicking too, though, so... Yeah, but depending on what happens, if they come out uh, attacking, then surely there will be a lot of panic. If they come out in peace, then there will be shock, but it's... There's gonna be hysteria is what I'm saying. There will be shock, there will be excitement, there will still be a little bit of that panic, but it will be... It's gonna be weird. It's really gonna be weird. There have been many things said about the former president, good and bad. 
but nothing could have been more gripping or potentially dangerous than the controversial commander-in-chief declaring that aliens were in fact coercing with the leaders of the free world. Mr. Trump's ratings, persona and opinions were at their peak of lawlessness, and so as usual, the shadowy figures of the Galactic Federation had to step in and prevent him from unleashing the secret to such a sensitive subject upon the public. Mm. The United States was already split down the middle in relation to the president's policies, as well as Mr. Trump himself. Hysteria would be a soft- Yo, if- okay, first of all, like, no politics, I'm in Canada, so yeah, I gotta- Bruh. That's my escape card, right? But if Trump wins, uh, the next election, you think he's gonna reveal, though? Like, imagine he does, right? How long is the, the presidency? Like, I don't- I, uh, I, I don't keep up with politics. I barely- I never research stuff like that. I don't even care for that, right? Because, uh, but is it four years, five years? I'm assuming it's like likely four years. Uh, yeah, but d if he comes back in office, will he reveal? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's an interesting question. What thoughts, guys? Thoughts? Soft way to describe what could have occurred if the word got out. Indeed, the world is not ready for something as chaotic and unbelievable as the so-called little green men shaking yeah. hands with the global elite. Religion, social class systems, and technological industries would fall into disarray and economic collapse. Th this is a part that I truly don't understand though. Obviously, uh, I I'm Muslim first of all, uh, and uh, let me know if you follow other, other faith, uh, let me know your religion in chat, uh, and let me know if, uh, if you have studied your religion, does it say that we are not alone or we are alone or uh, like, what are your belief system? Like, do you believe uh, that we are not alone? Do you not? I personally believe that we're not alone, and I'm Muslim, and uh, in in Quran, it says that we are not the only one. We're not the only creation. There is a lot of many things he created, God created, that we will never find out, and there's many. Uh, basically, we as humans, we hold the high rank, but not the highest rank. Uh, so, whoever owns the high we do not know who owns the highest rank so that's kind of like the hint in quran that we are not alone right obviously there will be many people that will decipher that there will be many different interpretation but that's the the quote uh that's what i uh what i study and that's what i found out that we human we hold the high rank but not the highest so that means that we are not the only creation uh so i believe that but but when they say that the religion system will fall i don't i don't i don't yeah i'm ignorant on a lot of stuff so i'll say that but i feel like there will be a lot of people that will still stick with their faith and rightfully so man follow, follow god follow god rightfully so but but for a lot of people with weak belief i feel like they are gonna fall it would come as no surprise to many that the former leader of the united states would have been desperate to reveal the news due to his mandate and ordering the Space Force project. The galactic unit itself comprises of 77 operational spacecrafts, which work in different areas and sectors of their stellar programs, including GPS, military satellite communications constellations, US missile warning system, surveillance networks, and the satellite control network. The reveal by Eshad, as well as his subsequent appearances and conversations, can easily be assumed to be in conjunction with the release of his book, or indeed to coincide with Trump's campaign for a second term as president. However, for Eshed, his timing was mainly down to the fact that people are now open to the idea that extraterrestrials and their apparent technologies are real and heavily yeah. functional in today's modern era. He states in his aforementioned interview with the Israeli newspaper, If I had come up with what I'm saying today five years ago, mm, yeah, I would yeah, have been yeah. hospitalized. Today, they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my- Yeah, the thing is that he did say that, and uh, to a lot of people, people did talk about it. A lot of people were like, holy shit, all right? Oh, she! Uh, people started talking, but I never seen any- There were probably people, let's be real, but I didn't see people, like, be like, yeah, this guy's crazy, this guy, yeah, baloney, you know, whatever. Surely there were there were some people saying that, but the majority was like, okay, damn, that can be a possibility. And that is likely because of his credentials, the fact that he used to be, for years, he worked in Israeli space security chief. So he surely knows 
stuff in that realm in that he knows more than you and i would ever know because he worked in that in that department that we probably won't let's just keep a buck 50 so he has the knowledge he knows what he's talking about so i i believe that but the only thing that is making people and some people not believe and uh, that's kind of like a genuine criticism but i cannot talk on behalf of that is that he's uh right now he's 90 years old right he's an old guy i'm not old so i'm not sure what it's like getting old if i get that if i'm still alive and i'm 90 years old then i'll know how it's but i cannot uh, talk on that behalf uh he's 90 uh, the 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 criticism is that he's a uh, nine the he's 90 years old so he's a little bit cuckoo in the head he do not know he's seeing things he's imagining things and i believe i do believe that there is illness there i do believe that some people get those illness as they get older uh and that's the the circle of life but is he really that confused is he really imagining that that's the the question i don't think so but that's a possibility let's be real my degrees and awards. But but before we but before we move on, the another thing is that guys, he is ninety years old. This is an argument for, uh, not against. Uh, he's ninety years old. He's not gonna live that much, right? And I think he knows that. And would he really lie? Would he really just make up to make that dollar and to be relevant? Because I feel like that when you're at that age, you you're not gonna, you're not chasing the bag that much right there are different priorities at that point so yeah you know what i mean it's kind of like deathbed confession but yeah he's still alive and well that's actually good that's actually good but it's basically if you get if you get my point right i don't think he is making that up i am respected in universities abroad where the trend is also changing the book written by hagayani a well-respected and decorated author and published in november 2020 has caused quite a stir since its release and got people talking. November 20th? Professor Escher uh, continues to discuss and expose various claims that on the face of it sound far-fetched and impossible to believe. And yet people are buying the book and listening to what he has to say. Damn. One example is how alien entities were responsible for steering nuclear wars and holocausts from happening, as well as other catastrophic life-changing events. Some believe his claims are a publicity stunt designed to orchestrate widespread support and intrigue into the second attempt at Israel's landing of a spacecraft on the oh, surface dang. of the moon. For those who follow astronomy, many will know of the failed attempt by Space IL back oh, in 2019. Shit. We're bare sheet. A 2019, so that's when it failed. Okay, that that's okay. So that's a genuine criticism. That's a genuine dig. Uh, because yeah, I can believe that. I do not believe that he, he's like 90 years old. I don't think he would be striving to get the most amount of money at that age, right? He already have the money, and he's writing, writing a book, selling that. So I get it. He's trying to get the sales up, but but books are different, right? Because he he he's old school. He want to put all of his thoughts in a book because it's easily consumable. Um, and, and uh, books are books uh, and he's gonna make sure that every thing he can think of is concise and precise as possible and he's gonna put it in that in a format where it's consumable so I, I get that I, I I don't think he was chasing the bag in terms of uh, writing a book but maybe he is loyal to his country to the point where he's like yeah man we need to succeed Israel needs to succeed they need to do better that I can believe that and maybe that's the reason why he did that and maybe it's a lie but any mm, eh, thoughts that Thoughts, how you feel? Demonstrator of a small robotic lunar lander and lunar probe co-designed and operated by Israel Aerospace Industries crashed just minutes before its navigational landing was due to take place. Bereshit 2, expected to launch in the next couple of years, was announced in conjunction with Eshed's book release and interviews. Mm. But what we do know for certain is that with any significant claim, especially those of an alien nature, they are undoubtedly met with criticism, skepticism, and sometimes the threat of violence, mm. all of which Eshed is fully aware of. Yep. For starters, the top-ranking space industry, NASA, went on the record after the professor's comments were posted online oh, damn. in order to soften the blow of the skeptics, while remaining elusive and non-committing to his massive claims. A spokesperson for NASA stated the following. One of NASA's key goals is the search for life in the universe. 
although we have yet to find signs of extraterrestrial life. Wrong. Wrong. There has been many different times where they uh, shut down the, the live feed when there was a UFO pass by. Uh, whenever there was something odd, they, they, they whenever it passed by, they shut down the live stream. Now, uh, an argument for them is maybe they will shut that down because uh, there was malfunction. I do not believe that. Or maybe they know what it was, but it's like, bro, like it's a, it's just a space debris, whatnot. It's looking like a UFO. If we keep playing that, people will believe that it's a UFO, but it's not. So we're going to shut it down. If you're going to do that, people will believe it's a UFO. Let's be real. I still do not believe that, but that's an argument for them. But the argument against them is, guys, UFO showed up, they shut it down, it, it, they know it's real, and they don't want us finding out. So this is why I'm saying bull squash. That's wrong. Wrong. NASA is exploring the solar system and beyond to help us answer fundamental questions, including whether we are alone in the universe. From studying water on Mars, probing promising oceans worlds, such as Enceladus and Europa, to looking for biosignatures in the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system. NASA's science missions are working together with the goal to find unmistakable signs of life beyond Earth. It, it, here's the quote, right? That is very true. I'm probably gonna butcher the quote, but it, it goes like this. Uh, we're born too late to discover our planet, but we are born too early to discover the, the stars and the space, right? Crazy, we're in the middle. We're in the middle, man, damn it. Because I feel like that by 2025, uh, 20, not, not 2025, we are getting very close to that. Bruh. 2050, I think it's gonna be insane. The, 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 the AI would be insane. If we are still alive in 2050, and if we have not blown uh, uh, ourselves up, I hope we do not, I hope we progress towards peace. Uh, I hope we continue and we improve and we work on our problems because we got a lot of problems, right? Uh, if we progress as a species and we are in the year 2050 and if all goes well and if we have landed on Mars and we have started colonizing like Elon Musk has been saying, like other uh, NASA, like uh, as NASA is trying to do that, if you have colonized Mars and uh, that's step one, right? That is step one. Just, just making sure that we are also on different planets and we are exploring. 2050 would be a crazy year. Maybe by then we will really find it out. I don't know. I don't know. Freelance British journalist and media commenter Nick Pope also voices opinion on the assertions made by Eshed. Pope, a former civil servant and employee at the British government's Ministry of Defense, now residing in the United States, was responsible for investigating the significance and possible threat that UFO phenomena pose to national and international security. Drawing from his experience and access to various forms of information during his time at the MOD, Pope stated during an interview with NBC News, either this is some sort of practical joke or publicity stunt to help sell his book, perhaps Damn. with something having been lost in translation, or someone in the know is breaking ranks. It can be, but I do not believe that. The guy is old as shit, bro. Like, he's... he's... I would like to believe he's way past that internet cloud or that the 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 attention, right? I believe he's way past that at at that age. I would like to believe that, but again, there is a possibility for sure. Finally, and most importantly, the institute for which Eshed is held in such high regard, the Israel Space Agency, has consequently rebuked his statements. Isaac Ben Israel is an Israeli military scientist, general politician and state official who currently serves as the chairman of the ISA and the National Council for Research and Development, who countered the claims made by his former peer and colleague. Of course. Speaking to the Times of Israel, Ben Israel initially expressed his respect for Eshed, but that he had went too far mm. with his stories of alien contact and extraterrestrial intelligences working in partnership with world leaders. He dismissed the possibility and speculation by suggesting that Eshed tended to emphasize, misconstrue, and interpret various space signals to be something far greater or sinister to what they actually were. I mean, listen, if they deny it, then it's probably true. Bruh. It is probably true, but but it makes sense to me. Like, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, he might be a little bit cuckoo, he might be uh, imagining things, at that age, it is certainly a possibility. That's not, no dig, no disrespect, but that's just a possibility. Objectively speaking, that's a possibility. I would like to believe it, but, but 
but yeah it's a conspiracy right you believe it you do not believe it let me know and also project blue beam it's a must watch video click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left check these videos out guys they do not want you seeing that and i will see you right there